Oh, what are you doing? We got a movie review. Let's go. Come on. Get up your ass. Let's go. Susan May just came out. Let's go. All right, Amber. Yeah, just getting ready. Give me one second. And I am ready. Let's go watch Susan May, bro. Makoto Shinkai. Let's go. What's going on, guys? It's Well, What Do You Think? And we are here with a new movie review. Makoto Shinkai Susan Susume. May. And it's me, Omi. It's me, Amory, guys. And what's going on? Amory, go ahead and give us a brief synopsis on Makoto Shinkai's new film. Exactly. And also, if you guys are new to well, What Do You Think, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe. If you've seen this movie, let us know what your thoughts are. But exactly, we just saw Makoto Shinkai's Susan May yesterday. Yep, yep. And if you don't know the story, it is very much a star-crossed lovers kind of uh, story. We follow Susan May, who is a, I believe, a junior I, in high school. Yep, yep. She's like 16, 17 years old. And she is going on this magical adventure with uh, Sota, Sota yep. who is a ch uh, who is a chaser or closer? Was it closer? Uh, closer, closer. So they're going all across Japan because there's some mysterious uh, incidents going on, natural disasters, and what they have to do is they have to close doors, which is a kind of pathway to a new dimension, new mm -hmm. world. We're gonna keep it very vague because we didn't go in knowing anything. I actually didn't watch the trailer for anything in this movie, so yeah. I, I went in not knowing anything. I just know of Makoto Shinkai is your name. And of weathering with you, yeah. uh, so I went in pretty much blind with this yeah. movie. And Amir, as the as the resident anime guy, lover mm -hmm. of a uh, of slices of yeah. life, go ahead and let us know what were your thoughts of this movie. Walk us through it. <sighs> I am very <laughs> sad to report. I thought Suzume was a whiff. I think so too. I'm very sad to say that. I think because I love Makoto Shinkai. Uh, Garden of Words, Your Name, Weathering With You, and Garden I haven't seen the, uh, I've seen His five centimeters per second, I haven't seen the other two, yeah. the, the ones that are before that, and I think, because I've heard this complaint brought up toward Makoto Shinkai before, where he makes the same, same movies thing, over yeah. again, doing them again, and I didn't have a problem with that with Weathering With You, and I think this is the straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. uh, Suzume feels like the exact same movie... As weathering with you in your name, but, but shittier. It, exactly, it pales in comparison. Yeah, and I am so disappointed and so hurt that I did not like the movie as much as I wanted to. Yeah, because I know for thoughts? me, uh, I loved uh, your name. I watched it, I believe, like a year or two ago. That's a ten out of ten that, movie. That's a good one. That's a really good one. And I, and I saw most of weathering with you. I enjoyed aspects of it. I'm like it's not as good as your name. So coming into this one, I did have high expectations. Like Shinkai, you know, he don't miss. He don't miss. You don't miss. You don't bet against Shinkai. But when I was watching this movie, I think it was about thirty. 30 to 40 minutes into the movie, that was kind of when I knew. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't think this movie's going to be good. Yeah. And it's because they keep... This movie's an action movie, I think, more than They throw else. you in. This is, the, the I think, the fastest-paced Shinkai movie. But, they throw you in, but they don't develop the characters. Because they don't develop the characters, and I think it is fast-paced, but I still think it has pacing issues. It does. There are things like, all right, they throw you into the deep end, and then now and it's like, break. we're going to break for yeah. 30 minutes and yep. then get back. So I think the pacing was a problem, but for me, it was... When they were closing the door three times yeah. pretty early on in the movie, the action played the exact same. Yep. Suzume and Sota, they were able to close the door. They say this ritual, this chant, and and then they they solve the problem for for the time yeah. being. And the problems keep happening and happening. Mm -hmm. And to me, I was like, you have to up the ante or give us something different each time yeah. to make us invested. And there is a character under the name of uh, Daijin, I believe, the cat, Daijin. Yeah. that I think he was possibly. I think he was the. The big, the, the, biggest the biggest culprit, issues, the yeah. biggest culprit to why I think this movie wasn't well written. Yeah. But um, besides of the problems, I think we both can say it was beautifully yeah. animated. It's not a terrible, it's not a terrible movie. I think it is a very flawed movie. I think, but yeah. I think if you're, if you're expecting a Makoto Shinkai picture, you're probably gonna get what you're expecting: beautiful animation, great music, and like be uh, amazing, incredible food shots. I do think they, so. they do a great job. With animating food. Mainly McDonald's. McDonald's. Mainly yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. Like, I haven't had McDonald's in years. I'm like, yeah. fuck, man. I want that a Big Mac. Good. I want a Big Mac, bro. Yeah. yeah so the, the the animation is top tier. Yeah. Like, when you go to... Go Rad to Ones movies. did the music again, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know who they were before. Is the like, dude, how do you not know them? Yeah. I'm like, I guess I have to know yeah. them now. They, their music is really good. I did like that. Are yeah. you scared Are you scared from Makoto Shinkai's next movie? I am movies? a little worried, because I know people were had a lukewarm reception towards Weathering With You. I think... Uh, Makoto Shinkai has his fan base, and I think there's o there will always be defenders for Shinkai uh -huh. because Your Name was amazing, and I think he is a great director. I think he is like as good as uh, Momoro Hosoda. 
I think uh, I Hosoda, love Hosoda. Hosoda and Shinkai are great. I think they're they are the next generation yeah, of the yeah. Miyazaki, yeah. the Isao Takahata. Uh-huh. And I think what I would have really wanted this movie to do is just really challenge what he's already established and done, mm-hmm. which it felt like that a little bit in the beginning. But it's like I think he just fell for the own his own trapping his own traps yeah, it's just, of doing the same movie. Yeah. It's the Star Cross Lovers and. I, I, if you break down the structure beat for beat from your name weathering with you and Suzume, the, the you wouldn't know which is which. <laughs> yeah, because they do the exact same thing. The they meet half- for the first time. They grow to be friends. Something bad happens. They yeah. have to now learn how to be by themselves. Learn the midpoint. The, yeah. They they break up. You yeah. have to find the other one yeah. again, and, and then fighting for each other at the end. So, yeah. to me, it did feel very. Derivative. The character Suzume was awesome. Yeah. I think the voice acting is great, and Suzume yeah. is a very cool character. You just don't yeah. get to know no enough. Yeah, because they get there's really good scenes uh, at the end of the movie mm-hmm. that is about Suzume's yeah. backstory. And I'm thinking that to hit. myself, that was good. Just give yeah. us more of it because it's two hours and a two minute movie, so it's 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 a long movie yeah. for sure. And I was just telling Amber like I would have cut out maybe like thirty minutes of fat yeah. and then thrown like maybe fifteen minutes of backstory and just development because. I know for me, I, I didn't really buy Sota and um, together uh, Suzume's and together. relationship. I think they were great friends. Cause and I like them. The, I like the characters separate, separately mm-hmm. from each other. I think as a whole, like they're both great. They're both. Uh, I think Sota's a great character. I think Suzume is really good, but she just lacks some motivation. Mm-hmm. But I think there is depth to her character that I would have loved to see them d- dive into more. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, I gotta ask you, I mean, I know uh, this isn't really a spoiler. There is uh, a body switching aspect to this movie that is found in in yeah. Shin in uh, uh, Makoto Shinkai's movies. Uh, did the chair character work for you? If you guys saw, yeah, yeah the, the opening, opening, the opening is a reference yeah. to that. Did the chair work for you? It, it did. See, like there are parts I still like about the movie. Like me being uh, harsh to it is because I know what what quality he can produce. Yes, yeah, you know him at yeah. his best, so you yeah. want him to try to hit those levels. I do. Every time. I agree, and mm-hmm. I think. Um, that's why I like Soda. I thought the the him being placed into the chair was was great. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. You like you're you're it's very much like a Toy Story. Like we we joked like oh it felt very much like Toy Story. Like the moment Soda would see anyone that didn't know he was actually a, a chair, chair, he had to over. play. He had to play dead. Yeah, play and dead. That was good. That was yeah, funny. It was and, really good. And there was a really funny um, scene with like some kid the uh, twins yeah. who um. They found out that uh, they found out he was uh, a, an actual living chair. Yeah. So they're like, "Oh, it's an AI." They're like, "Oh, so tell us how are the stocks today? What's yeah. the weather like?" And they just <laughs> threw random questions in there, and that was that was fun. That like, was good. I think the fantasy elements are great. Like, it's a fun movie. I yeah, think. it's fun, but it, I just wanted a better story. Yeah, good no motivation. If you are looking for an anime movie to see in theaters, I think this is a good movie to watch in theaters because it's not a waste of money. It's not a waste of money because like, oh, just and it is beautiful. The music is nice. Like. It just and we don't get many movies, to, uh, many anime movies to see in theaters. So this was nice. And Shinkai only does, like he'll, it takes yeah. about three years to get the new movie out. Yeah. So it does feel like an event. Mm-hmm. And I'm and I'm curious because we saw it with a smaller theater. We saw it in Edwards and Irvine. Yeah. And it kind of I don't know if it felt like a universal kind of like grunt or like disappointment in our theater. I kind of felt that like there was never a pop off moment like you uh-huh. did get in a Your Name or a Weathering with You like a triumphant. Like success moment. Yeah, it, there was no pop off for yeah, sure. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I, I did notice that there was a few people in our theater that did clap, and that was with the car. The car. The car scene with the convertible. Oh, oh, with the, yeah, the so it, rooftop. Yeah, so oh, I knew yeah, people were clapping funny. for that, yeah. so that was funny. Yeah. But I just think that at the end of it, it was just like, missed poten- uh, like a, a missed opportunity, missed potential, and it, I, and I do think it's yeah. the Shinkai. I think it is a flop. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think at the end of it, it just sucks to say it's like it, I have fun with it, but I think as the composition, I do think it's a bad movie. I, uh, I, I agree. I think uh, some great uh, new anime movies that came out this last year. Uh, Dome Glees, I thought was really good. I like that one. Yeah, I thought. Uh, I know Inuo was really good. I watched Summer Ghost. That's a really good one. Mm-hmm. It's a short one. It's from uh, Lundra. It's like his director. Bell was last debut. year. I liked Bell yeah. more than this. Yeah, Bell, Bell I also had some issues with, but I think yeah. Bell was a better product than this. But yeah, both Hosoda uh, and Shinkai, both their, their last, last ones had, are, haven't been as good as we yeah. were hoping. So. Yeah. I think what I want Shinkai to do, Shinkai, if you're watching this, we love you. Makoto. We love you, Shinkai. Yeah. Uh, I would really uh, just like to see you kind of challenge yourself a little bit more with the story structure and kind of just the type of characters you put into it. Because mm-hmm. I think um, we have uh, Mitsuha, 
We have um, Susan May in this one. Uh-huh. And I forgot the main girl character's name in Weathering With You. Uh-huh. But I, I would argue that the personality of all three are very of them similar. are very interchangeable. Uh-huh. So I would just like to see him challenge himself a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But I do think he is a uh, master storyteller in like kind of making like these grand like a disaster event movies like there it's like a giant set piece kind of movie mm-hmm. there's like a lot of forces of nature yeah, yeah yeah i think it's it's a the scale is there the scale and scope are there it's just the oh just hone in a little bit focus yeah. a little bit more on the characters i agree it's, it's yeah yeah it's, I'm, I'm very sad to say that but i do yeah, think disappointment. if you needed a movie to watch this week between like renfield or suzume or rewatching some old movies yeah so yeah instead of what rewatching mario even though it's a, a good movie it's a fun movie if you're looking for support something, this. yeah, go and support this. I think it's it's a good watch. You'll yeah. you'll enjoy it. Get some good popcorn. And uh, I just I'm really curious. I want to see what the discourse is going to be like on this. Because Rotten Tomato scores are, are 90, 99. 96. and I'm like, I'm thinking, are, is there something we missed? If you guys saw it, let us know what she thought. Because we plan on rewatching it sometime soon. Yeah, with, we watched uh, our A list. Yeah, we watched it yeah. sub this time, and then and I want to go and rewatch it again dubbed. Because Josh Keaton, I believe, plays Sota. Yeah. And I don't remember the name of the voice actor that's playing um, Suzume. It's but the she was from Until Dawn. Yeah, she's yeah. in Until Dawn. She plays Emily. And yeah. she was great in that. And yeah. I saw the trailer for the dub. And I was like, oh, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so I do want to check it out again. Because yeah. uh, as we wind down our review, Omi, I got to ask you, what's your final score? It's tough. It's yeah. tough. Because I know when I was watching the movie with Amir, I was just like, I didn't want to be that guy. I was like, dude, I think this movie's bad. And I was like, yeah. I'm not going to say it because I, I had problems Give with Mario. Yeah. I didn't want to be that guy or like, keep hating on these movies. <laughs> but I, when I saw Amber was just watching the movie, I, I was, I was, I was just yeah. so sad. Like yeah. you would just see me go like, yeah. why, yeah. what, what happened? Yeah. What did I do to yeah. deserve I this? Like, God damn. But I think yeah. as a movie, if I go like on, on a letter score, I think I want to say like C minus. Like, I yeah. don't think it's a D. I think, the animation and the visual. I think, uh, to me, I'll say I'll go and say C minus. I think damn, that's I think the story. Too. I think the story. Uh, that's too low. I have to, that's I, too I'm low. gonna stick. With, I'm gonna stick with C minus until mm. I watch the movie again. Cause I think the story. It was just action. There was like not much substance until the end. Mm. But I will watch the movie again, and who knows? Maybe I'll like yeah. it a lot more the second time. I agree. Anime, what do you give it? Uh, I I think. Similar, uh, I was very disappointed, but there are still very good aspects to it. I'm gonna, I'm landing at a seven out of ten, okay, which is not terrible, but it it could have been a lot better. I'm gonna say that I think it could have been a lot better, and I think if you're going with high expectations, try to brace yourself, maybe bring them down a bit. <laughs> yeah, just don't expect it to be like, because I mean, it is hard to ask to get on that same level as a your name. I agree. So, and that could be it too, since uh, it's an unfair expectation set on uh, Makoto Shinkai, probably. Um, if it was any other director, maybe I would have been. It would have been serviceable to me, mm-hmm. but I think uh, it could be expectations. But I'm I'm landing at a seven, and I am curious to hear your guys' thoughts on season May. If you saw it, let us know your thoughts. What is your favorite moment? And if you didn't like it, what? Do you, how would you fix the movie? Yeah, we I'm give curious. some of our opinions on how yeah. maybe they could fix it. Go ahead and let us know your thoughts. And I'm curious. Put, I want to know what yeah. you guys think. I'm, 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 if you loved it, let me know why you loved yeah. it. Yeah. And this will be us signing out. It's been me, Amir. And it's me, Omid. Yeah, and if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and leave us a like if you liked our video. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Well, What Do You Think? Have a good one, guys. See ya.